Hi guys, it's Chris with X Fat Dairy. I am currently in Oklahoma. I uh, just crossed in from Texas not too long ago on Interstate 40, going eastbound. Um, excuse if you get any wind noise. It is summertime in Oklahoma, so it will be very windy out here. Um, it's been a rough go the last couple of days. Uh, we had a problem coming through Texas earlier. We caught a rock on the windshield and it cracked my windshield. And we have certain regulations on commercial vehicles. Uh, certain size chips and cracks on your windshield are allowed, but once they get to a certain size, you gotta get it done, you gotta get it fixed. So, first one we caught wasn't so bad. We were kind of getting away with it. But coming through Tucson, Arizona, there was a rock hauler in the right lane. I'm in the center lane. I saw the puff of dirt and I was like, uh oh, not good. As soon as that puff of dirt near his tires meant that there was a rock coming my way. And sure as heck, it smacked me right in the windshield, made a second impact that was larger and more severe than the first one. So we pulled into Phoenix to make our delivery. We ended up dropping the trailer, picking up an empty, and then we went to our CRST terminal there near Phoenix. And we had to have a mobile, and the wind's picking up, had to have a mobile service team come out and replace our windshield. So that put us down for a little while. So we went and paid, picked up another load there in the Phoenix area and it's going to Pennsylvania. Problem is, the load we picked up is in a trailer that was marked out of service for repairs. But they loaded it anyway. So guess who gets stuck with having to try to get this thing fixed? Yeah. Anyway, I am currently on my way to the Oklahoma City Terminal to see if they can repair this trailer. So, down for a while yesterday, and I'm going to be down again today. And depending upon what kind of extent of repairs that are needed for this trailer could mean I'm down for a couple hours, I could be down for a day. Who knows? And it's very frustrating with the equipment issues. Because, uh, you know, being paid by the mile, if you're sitting at a terminal, you ain't making miles, you ain't making money. So that's a little frustrating. And it's made uh, Phoebe a little unhappy for having to continually deal with this. That is a downside. Uh, I don't know exactly how other companies deal with it because I only work for the one company and I've only been working for the one company the whole time. So I can't really say, you know, how other companies deal with uh, equipment issues. But I know with my company, they're not doing the, the best job of keeping the trailers uh, up to par. And it seems to be... Um, the anti-lock braking system for these trailers which is required so if that breaks or is not working properly you got to get it fixed and uh, on our trailers I'm sure most everybody's got the same thing but on our trailers they have the little, little yellow light on the back of the trailer that lights up which is a nice little indicator for law enforcement and uh, DOT enforcement to snag you and cite you. So it's not something you can just kind of like put off. It's not something you can ignore. It's something you got to deal with. And I just wish that uh, my company especially would maybe even invest in some mobile repair teams to go around to the different locations where our trailers are and fix these things out in the field 
and not just wait for the drivers to have to get the trailers and bring them into the terminals. I mean, I know that's a little more costly, but they're making the money to cover that expense by moving so many loads and they move a ton. I mean, we're a mega carrier. We're not, we're not some company that has, you know, 10 or 12, 20 trucks, you know, so that's my little gripe session for the day for that. It's a beautiful day. Weather's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to find out here a little bit what my paycheck looks like for this week because we had some slowdowns last week too that messed us up. You know, issues with the clock. It's another thing that's kind of been a little bit of a frustration is you have different clocks as a, as a commercial driver that you have to watch for and your driver manager who's giving you your loads and managing where you're going and you know what loads are moving where part of their function is to also pay attention to your drive clocks and when you tell them when you tell them that hey my hours are getting short and they continue to assign you long distance runs you know you you go back and say okay are you are you sure because you know I'm gonna have to stop and take a mandatory rest break before I can make this delivery and of course that affects customer service so uh, sometimes they have to scramble all of a sudden because they didn't look at your clocks and then they got to reassign that load to somebody else and then find you another load and so forth and so on and you end up having to sit a little bit longer than you really should have to take your break because now they got to figure out a new load plan and where you're going to go next and so forth. So that happened to us. My hours got down to almost zero and they finally decided, okay, well, we're not going to send you on this load because we need this one to be done on time. So they put us down. We went down on a Saturday and we didn't get back on the road until Monday afternoon. So, which costs us about a day, a little less than a day, but still, uh, with trucking, every hour really counts. So, being paid by the mile, if you're sitting, you ain't making no money. Anyway, so those are the frustrations with trucking, you know. You know, and it all affects me because I'm trying to get ahead, like I've told you guys in previous videos, trying to get ahead on that uh, savings. So, you know, all these little setbacks don't seem like much, but they start adding up. And you see it on your weekly paycheck. You know, that extra $100, $200 really counts towards what you're trying to do. So, anyway. That's it for today. Um, again, I'm heading for Oklahoma City, get the trailer done. And then from there, I'm heading for Pennsylvania. And if all goes according to plan, I have another trip where we'll leave from Pennsylvania, scoot across the border there and jump into New Jersey and pick up a load there. And it's going down to Orlando. So it's another good thousand something miles. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you guys uh, enjoy the videos. I'll throw in something up here at the end from the lines between the mirrors. Appreciate you guys being here. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.